Okay, welcome to the promised PHP basics tutorial uh, on regular expressions. Um, in this video we're going to be working with this single file which I have open here. At the moment all it does is send a content type header uh, which will cause my browser to treat this file as plain text. Um, so notice my HTML validator thing is missing. Um, and basically all that means is that any new lines um, Will be, will be preserved, so it's like a text file, basically. Uh, so let's just remove that. Okay, so uh, what is a regular expression is the first point we want to address. Um, I'm going to try and keep this as simple as possible, so I'm not going to go into sort of complicated um, expression syntax, although I will put a link in the description to this video um, to the php.net page for the PCRE extension where it tells you literally everything. It's a bit overwhelming, um, and also put a link to a cheat sheet which will tell you the basics and sort of a good reference that I use it quite a lot anyway. Um, right, so that's introduction. A regular expression is the first thing we need to talk about. Well, it's the only thing we need to talk about. Um, a regular expression is a way of sort of matching a pattern of a string um, without knowing like the offset value or um, the length or the actual string you. You know the bit you're looking for, needle in the haystack, as PHP.NET refers to it. Um, so you could, for example, match the title tag of a website, and we'll be doing that example in a few moments. Right. The first. Um, well, we're going to talk about four regular expression functions. So, in the interest of time, I'm going to move on to some examples, um, and we're going to start with the preg replace function. So let's just define a string that we're going to be working with in this sort of example. And we're going to have um, just I am a test string, like so. And let's just throw a few more spaces around and a new line there. Um, the, and uh, ooh, okay, in the middle, let's have a carriage return. Um, and the regular expression we're going to match is replace all white space and it's going to collapse it down into a single space. So we should get I am a test string as nice output. And we're going to do this using the preg, or preg, as I usually say it, preg, you know, like just saying the word, um, preg replace function. This works in a similar way to the str string replace function. Um, the first parameter is an expression that you want to match. The second parameter is what you want to replace it with. And the final parameter is the string you're working with. So in this case, it's string. Uh, and what we want to replace whatever we match with uh, is a space. So it'll take any sort of long string of white space, which is a space, a new line, or a carriage return, in this case anyway, and it'll replace it with a single space. Okay, so PHP, well this function uses the PCRE, Perl Compatible Regular Expression Syntax, sorry, extension. Uh, the syntax for these expressions um, sort of states that they have to be delimited. What that means is you need the same character at the start as you have at the end. So that's that done. Um, and inside you have a regular expression. Like I said, I won't be going into the syntax of these specifically. I will explain the things I use, but I won't like I won't do regular expression syntax because there's so much to them that it'd take forever. Okay, so we are using the preg replace function, and the expression we're going to use is this one. Square brackets mean a character class, so this expression at the moment will match any of the characters we type in here. So if I typed a, B, and C, it'd replace, um, well, no, it'd match all of the occurrences of A, B, or C. So the characters we're going to use are a space, a new line, and a character return. Okay, um, yeah, that's it. Um, if you're using these sort of slash N for a new line, you need to make sure that you use single quotes. Um, otherwise, it'll actually put a new line into the expression, and I don't think that'll work. I've never actually tried it. Um, and the other thing you need to do after a character class is set how long you want it to be. In this case, we're going to just do a plus, which means one or more characters. Okay, so if we just echo this, I'll put it to the screen. Whoops, don't highlight it. Hit save and reload our page. You see, we get I am a test string. Um, yeah, just as it is, with the spaces collapsed down. If I just chain comment this out and do echo string. 
spelling string right, whoops, there we go, and hit reload, you see we get the messy string that I actually entered. So say if you had like a search engine or a search system, you could use this to um, sort of sanitize the keywords that you like the search term. Okay, so that's the first example we're going to do. The second example is going to be using the pregpreg preg split function. This is similar to PHP's native explode function, except it splits on a regular expression. So, like say if you exploded this string we have here, or just on a space, you'd get i as a um, okay, you'd get um, five elements of an array returned. The elements would be i, am, a, test, and string, all each in a separate element of the array. Um, but because we have this messy string and we want to get the same result, we can use preg split. So we can use the same expression. I'm just going to change replace to split, like so. Um, and the only difference here is that this function takes two parameters. The first is the expression you want to split on, and the second is the string. And because this returns an array, we need to use it. Oh well, I'll define it as result, like so. And then we need to use print underscore r result. And what this should output is yeah, i as element zero, am to, as am as one. Uh, a as two test blah 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 and you get the picture so this would be even more useful for a search uh, database search system because you could split the keywords based on any white space at all so say if the user searched for like something and you um, and like they had a double space like a typo you don't want to be searching like if you just did explode you'd get an empty element you wouldn't want that because um, well actually let's just also output the same thing you wouldn't want that because um, searching for a empty string, as described in my search tutorial, which I haven't done yet, but I will do. Um, so let's just see explode. Whoops, not echo. Um, print underscore r explode on space of string, and that's typed all wrong. That should be a string. Should be lowercase and hit reload. You see, we get. Um, this as an element, which is and two empty ones. This inc this includes the carriage return. Um, so we ob obviously that's something we don't want. So that's sort of the difference between using standard explode and the preg like regular expression version. Okay, so that's two example uses, um, sort of splitting and replacing. Uh, now the most common um, sort of use is matching. So you can use this as I demonstrated before to match like only characters and validate a string to see if it's um, like just numbers or just letters. Like say if you add someone into their name, you could make sure it's just characters, just like sorry, just characters, just um, like the alphabet, basically <laughs> letters. There you go. Um, so what we're going to do here, as an example, is get the title of a website that we don't know about. So let's just define a string as Dear. String as file get content. Now remember the file get contents fe uh, function can um, get the HTML code from a website. So if we just use say HTTP uh, YouTube dot com as our string, and if I just do echo string and hit reload. You see, we get all the HTML that makes up YouTube, um, and what we're going to be trying to match is um, this thing here in the title. So we want to match this and output just this bit in the middle to our screen. Okay, so let's do that now. We are going to be using the preg match function. What this function does is, well, it matches a regular expression and it stores the matches that it makes in an array. So let's, um, let's just call preg match Oops. Uh, the first parameter is the expression as always the second is the string that you want to work with and the final parameter that we're supplying anyway is the array where you want to um, store the matches so I'm just going to do that need that and then underneath I'm going to do print underscore r matches okay the function itself returns the number of matches now because it's limited to only one match, it'll either return one if the string has found a match, or zero if not. And that's the concept I used um, when I was validating the name in the mailing list tutorial. No? Yes, the mailing list tutorial, subscribe page. 
Right, so the expression we're going to be using here, again, has to be delimited. And we are just going to match anything between the title tags. So let's have title, and then the ending title. And then in here, we want to match literally anything at all. Um, curly bracket, not curly brackets, um, rounded brackets mean a sub expression. Um, what that means, it's like a sort of expression within an expression. And the regular expression engine will return whatever's in here, basically. So that's our uh, expression. Let's just reload our page again. And you see we have an empty array, which means there have been no matches. Um, which is quite odd, actually, because that should have found something. Um, well, I think the problem is because the YouTube... Well, I'm not sure if you noticed, but the title tag had new lines in it. So we may need to supply um, s for dot all. Yeah, there we go. Um, the s modifier uh, so it means that the dot matches everything, whereas without it, I think it doesn't match new lines. It must not. Uh, that's something you can look up. Anyway, um, yeah, I did that. Um, right. I'm going to go through this quite quickly. Uh, basically, what we have in the matches array are two um, elements. The first element is the entire string that's been matched, so it's everything that this whole expression matches, including the title tags. And the second element is just the thing that was inside the title tags. So basically it's just the thing that was inside these rounded brackets. If you had more rounded brackets, you'd have more um, elements in this returned array. Okay, so that's everything about preg match. Let's move on to preg match all, which is the same as preg match effectively, except that it will match. Um, it'll keep ma it'll keep looking for more matches even though it's found one. So, like, say for web, well, we're going to get all the links from YouTube again. So, the way we're going to do this is by using an expression a, so like an a tag, and then inside there we want anything, and then we want the thing we're matching, which is in brackets, and then we want the closing a tag. So now if I reload this page, you see we get a big list of all the links. Um, wait, no we don't. Okay, ungreedy. There's something I should have mentioned as well. Um, by default, a regular expression is greedy. What that means is it will find the longest possible match. You can specify the U modifier, like so, to make it ungreedy. So I hit reload now. You see we get loads and loads of results. Each one is like an A tag in this first Okay, but by default, the returned array contains two elements. The first one is an array, again, like a sub-array of like full matches. So that's a full match. And then if we go down, just try and memorize this or try and recognize it. So we scroll down now to the second array, wherever it is. I've gone past it. You see now we have this, which is without the A tags. And then if you remember, the second link was browse, others, others, others. Um, so what this is doing is um, sort of splitting the matches and like the full matches and the sub array sub expression matches into two separate arrays. Um, this is, in my opinion, not the easiest way to work, and you can change the um, format of the array that is returned. Whoops! Oh, ignore that. PHP.NET reference there. Okay. So um, the way you specify the well, you, the way you can modify the returned array is by specifying specifying a constant as the sort of optional fourth parameter. Um, and if we specify preg set order, what this will do is now it'll return an array of matches. Um, it seems a bit more logical to me. So like before, we had this as a, an, a, as an element of array one, as array zero really, and this uh, the corresponding key in array one, like the second array. Um, now we have um, one array which contains all of the matches. Each of these matches is itself an array and the first one, uh, the first element in this array is the full tag, so we have like this is the full tag and the second element is just the bit that we wanted, like the thing in the rounded brackets. So in a way this work, this bit here is like the result of preg match without the all. Okay, I'll just very briefly at the end of this video mention this, these modifiers. Like I said at the start, they have to the regular expressions have to be delimited, and then following the final delimiter are some characters that represent the sort of you can like set the expression the mode if you like. So like I added this U to make it ungreedy and this S to make the dot match everything, including new lines. So these are called um, modifiers. 
um, and there are quite a few. PHP.net has a good reference for them somewhere. I've forgotten where, but you can go and find that. So I'm going to have to end this here because I've hit the 15 minute limit. So thank you for watching, and hopefully this was useful.